and welcome back to what is different in New Zealand compared to the rest of the world. Roll the intro. So yes, I'm in the car and I'm probably shaking the shit out of you because I'm waiting for the neighbour to finish her shopping. Today we're going to talk about education. Now it has all changed since I was at school. It started changing when I was at school. Uh, when we first started we were called NE or New Entrant. Then you went to J1, J2, Standard 1, Standard 2, Standard 3, Standard 4, Form 1, Form 2. Now depending on where you are to whether or not you will all do that all in one school or you do it in two separate schools with Form 1 and Form 2 being a little intermediate rather than a primary. In third form you go to high school, so third form, fourth form, fifth form, sixth form and seventh form being the final year for university entrance and then you go to university. We don't have colleges, it's universities or polytechs. Now that did change um, and that got changed to year 0 through to year 13 so you do year 7 and 8 either at the intermediate and start high school at year 9 um, and then again there are some schools that do everything so you go to the same school right from when you start to when you finish and then go to university firstly you have to have so many entrants or points to actually get in otherwise you can wait till you're like 21 I think it is and just apply and they will take you on from there. Now we used to have a fifth and sixth form certificate and then seventh form you did your um, HSC or higher school certificate. That's all changed now, it's on some NCEA plan national something. National Certificate of Education Achievement and it's done on a point system and I wouldn't have a clue how that works in now. I left in seventh form about a term in, so 10 weeks in, um, mainly because the school didn't offer the choices that I wanted to do uh, for subjects, because they didn't have enough to make a class and everything like that. It was, yeah. So I left and went to further education. So end of January, beginning of February, kind of close to the end of summer is when term one starts. And then they're broken into 10 weeks and there's four terms in the year. Um, so you do 10 weeks of school, 2 weeks holiday, 10 weeks of school, 2 weeks holiday, 10 weeks of school, 2 weeks holiday, 10 weeks of school which finishes just about Christmas, week before Christmas I think, and then you're on holiday and you don't go back for like 2 months. But then again that can change when you're in senior years and you've got study leave or the exams are earlier, then you get to finish earlier. So yeah, we still get to have summer off, just like in the States, but it's just because our summer is a different time. So anyway guys, hopefully that's explained a little bit of how our education system works. I'm not the greatest at it. So there you go. Okay.